Hello, I'm Kenneth Coleman, and I am a bridge builder. I've been building bridges in my community, my profession, my entire life. Since I can remember connecting with people, ideas, beliefs, and things, I pride myself on the ability to connect with people in a unique and fulfilling way. The ability to connect with others in my profession is key because you may meet people in their time of crisis, despair, and need. I am a seasoned emergency management security professional who has spent the last 20 years working to help people professionally and in my community who are in crisis. I like to say I identify strategic solutions to help people and be prepared. Now let me share some of my professional portfolio with you. These are all moments that I've been able to capture professionally. Some of them have nothing to do with emergency management, but nonetheless, they are all building blocks that have gotten me to this point in time in my profession. I will utilize these skills and ability that I have learned through some of the shots, the video that you may see to begin a career in emergency management. Thank you. I hope you enjoy. Exciting. Here are some of my interests. Since I was a little boy, I loved playing basketball. But unfortunately, I don't have many pictures from when I was in my childhood because they were destroyed in a fire. As I got older, I began to enjoy playing baseball and football as well. And unfortunately, many of those pictures were destroyed in a flood. Based on many of the situations in my life, uh, starting from a young age, you can start to see what began me on my journey um, in dealing with crisis, natural disasters, and man-made disasters. I think this is one of the things that truly sparked my interest. The understanding that sometimes uh, 
things happen to good people and they are outside of the control of those people and that there are entities and people outside of the police and fire department who are there or can be there in place or there to help. Enjoy. <laughs> My honors. It's very interesting as I look at this slide and think about uh, being a father, being a good teammate and friend, uh, some of the education and the training that I've been through, um, some of my volunteer work, being a good employee, all of those things uh, I am proud of. Being rewarded and or receiving honors for acts assignments or projects, achievements, has always been hard for me because many times I just do what I thought was right or what I thought I could do to help. In those moments, I never proceeded with the end in mind. It was always how to create a way, or you could say a bridge, for this individual, the project, the assignment, or whatever the connection may be to help us get to the other side, to get it done. As you can see, many of my achievements have been awarded. I've been awarded numerous certificates, awards, and have been acknowledged for many individual contributions. But the honor that I am most proud of is that I have the skill and ability to help other human beings who may be in need. Here's one example of an opportunity that I was able to be involved in we were able to win five Tele Awards around social change and social justice. Please enjoy the video. I watched a black man get killed in the streets of Minneapolis, 17 miles from here. But that wasn't the beginning. That is the reality. That's the truth. No justice, no. Prosecute the just because of the color of your skin, you may be treated differently, and not only in your schooling or by your friends, but also by police, and that you have to behave a certain way. That is very difficult because you kind of see the innocence drain a little bit from your kid, and you don't ever want to do that. And I wanted them to understand that a movement sparked by what happened here. Driving down Minneapolis in the sea, all the spray paint and the words that people were saying, it, it is a lot different than to see a group of people marching. The buildings were still smoldering and, and on fire, some of them, and there were still some ancillary protesting going on. We were driving down there and watching her in the back seat with her hand on the door handle of the car, just wanting to get out. And she had expressed to us, um, Ken and I, that she wanted to be out there protesting and she wanted to be out there on the street and having her voice be heard. What I had to tell Faith was, um, you know, there's other ways that you can protest and be involved. When I have those outbursts, I take it into art and I draw my grief. We got home and she disappeared for three hours. Just to see something lit in her that day, that night is the night that she drew and painted the George Floyd piece. Faith's piece was a very personal piece for her, a connection between her and Gianna Floyd that became a national iconic piece. 
I know how important it is for a dad to be in a little girl's life. To think about what she must feel to be confused and hurt and not sure what to do from now on, it really hit home for me. Faith is my little lioness. She feels it, it's instinctual. My family, I have like a pot of gold in my household. They definitely make me stronger. I think you don't get to decide your fight, right? It's something that's inside of you, that's how you feel. This is what I gotta get involved in. I have chose to invest my time in this community because I see something in the people here and I see something, especially after everything that went down in Minneapolis. This particular generation am so powerful right now is because they believe strongly that this is wrong and never should be accepted. They're out there in those streets. I mean, they are holding up those signs and these are young kids out there doing this. George Floyd's impact is huge and that one person can really make a difference. You have to take action because the lake will always stay still if you don't throw the rock. It's so crazy just to know that Everything you do is going to be a part of history. I want to be the person to say that, oh, I created an art piece that inspired people and brought some kind of peace or emotion to the family of George Floyd when he was murdered. What I've come to know is that a picture, something you draw, something you write, something you paint, all have the ability to be as powerful as something that you do an action that you take. I hope you enjoyed a little insight about me, the things that I'm interested in, the things that I've worked hard to do, um, some of the things that I'm passionate about. And I'll leave you with this. Education is all a matter of building bridges. Stated by Ralph Ellingson. Thank you. <laughs>